hey, let's do a quick chat about uh, House of Mirth, where oof, I think, you know, I I didn't think that much of Lily before. Lily is, Lily Bart is an intelligent woman uh, who's, you know, her place in life is like, okay, she's pursuing stuff because she's got to pursue stuff. Um, it's interesting in this chapter that uh, what we get is her, she's she's at a wedding. She's at the Van Osburg wedding. And she's spotting Percy Grace is also there and thinking, oh, I'll, I'll, I, I think I can repair things. Um, turns out that her her um, jollying along Gus Trenner has paid off. She's gotten a thousand from him. Uh, she thinks this is like, you know, strictly like, okay, he's investing my money. She's not really clear. I do get the sense that he's basically just giving her money because he wants her to be his be his friend. Uh, we'll see how much of a friend she definitely he definitely wants to use her and he does use her in this chapter in a certain way she also gets to meet uh gertie farish who is his name has already come up before as this woman who has sacrificed kind of luxury and riches to be independent to be free and she she lily hasn't doesn't think much of her thinks that she's a dull you know not not smart woman uh, and a part of that dullness is like, well, if you're not smart enough to make yourself pretty, then you, wh what are you doing? It's like this, this it isn't a, gen it's a part of it is like, it's a character defect not to be pretty. Um, but also there's just this thing of when you watch Gertie uh, carry herself at this wedding, it's like Gertie is like happy for the couple. She thinks like, oh, this is a good match. They see, they, they're going to, they're good, they're, that it's a good match. Um, and she also lets her know there are even better matches in the offing, which is Percy Grice and one of the Van Osberg things, because they're both kind of quiet people, stay at home people. So they'll see, suit each other and they'll be happy. And that doesn't have to do with money for Gertie, which somewhat floors Lily. But there's just also this just sort of thing of like, Gertie is happy. Like, it's like, oh, wow, isn't this a wonderful place? Didn't everything come off? And you've had all this stuff with Lily. Lily views this as envy. Lily declined to be a, um, a, be, uh, a, uh, one of the maids of honor because, uh, I've been too long on the shelf and I keep on, I, the next time I do this, I'm going to be married. I fuck, fuck them. I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be a maid of honor. She's just got like a very much harder edge, envious thing. Uh, and, this comes right up to like looking at all the at the there's a there's this section where you know they they look at they look at the um the jewels that are on display for everyone to see and it's it's very much uh it's it's very much um uh it's it's a very very much a a, a a kind of thing of they paused before the table on which the bride's jewels were displayed, and Lily's heart gave an envious throb as she caught the refraction of light from their surfaces. The milky gleam of the perfectly, ma perfectly matched pearls, the flash of rubies relieved against contrasting velvet, the intense blue rays of sapphires kindled into light by surrounding diamonds, all these precious tints enhancing and deepening by the very art of their setting. The glow of stones warmed Lily's veins like wine. More completely than any other expression of wealth, they symbolized the life she longed to lead, the life of fastidious aloofness and refinement, in which every detail should have the finish of a jewel and the whole form a harmonious setting to her own jewel-like rareness. So it's like, that is, that's a wet, that's, that's, that's a marriage to her. That is like, it's got nothing to do with the dude got to do with the fineness of the setting to to to, to show off because she's a very arrogant person her own jewel-like rareness it's like i am better than everyone uh very much contrasting to uh gertrude gertie farish miss farish who's like oh you know it's it's a cool we we see here that one of these gifts was given by a giant kind of ostentatious gift was given by rosedale um, if there's any question about like how the author feels, uh, Ger Gertie uh, also thinks, um, you know, she's, you know, she also disapproves of Miss, uh, Mr. Rosedale and, uh, that horrid man. Oh yes. I remember he's a friend of Jack's. I suppose he's, he suppose cousin Grace had to ask him here today, but she must rather having to hate to let Gwen accept such a present from him. So again, uh, Rosedale is uh, by the best people is is hated, and you know by the worst people is a useful tool. Uh, like Gus Trenner, 
probably being on the worst and going like, yeah, he's going to be rich. He's going to be powerful. We should suck up to him. Got nothing to do with, um, you know, treating someone as a person. There's also a thing back here about how, who, who is, who is Gertrude uh, connected to? And that's Selden. And Lily mentions that, oh, that Selden, Larry Lawrence Selden brought him, brought, brought him, brought him up. Lawrence Selden uh, brought, brought her up and is going to have, have, have uh, the dinner with him afterwards. And it's Lily smiled. She knew that Selden had always been kind to his dull cousin. And she had sometimes wondered why she, wa he wasted so much time on such an unremunerative manner, that transactional thing again. But now the thought gave her a vague pleasure, like that unremunerative manner. It's like, yeah, this is, I'm using people for my own game. You know, we see this in culture today of people who just use people. It's like, you are something that you're valuable for me. And the second you're not valuable for me, I'm going to discard you. Uh, that kind of person is what Lily Bart is, which uh, is, yeah, it's definitely making her more and more of a, uh, a character. You think, oh, okay, shitty stuff's going to happen to you and it's probably going to happen for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Those are my thoughts on uh, the first three quarters, again, of The House of Mirth. I've read, I've, I, it's a, it's a 30 minute chapter according to my, to my uh, e-reader. Uh, and I, uh, I've got, I got another, what is it? I've got another nine minutes to read for tomorrow. All right. More videos later.